Hello guys, welcome back to this experience that is Oliko Reads. It's been a long while but I'm finally back um, with a blast, I hope, because this is a second episode of what we're calling Stranger Than Strange Women in Fiction. So I hope you watched the first episode, if not it will be linked somewhere, maybe the end. So what is Stranger Than Strange Women in Fiction? Um, it's where I'm reading interesting books uh, which have interesting, unorthodox, um, crazy maybe, unconventional, not traditional female leads. So if you've read recently or a long time ago a good book with a strong unusual female character, please do let me know in the comments below because I would love to discover more books like that um, and share share the love for them around the world. This is slightly different literature but it doesn't mean that you or your friend won't enjoy it. So Anna Pitoniak or Anna Pitoniak, a Canadian uh, lady who lives now in New York because she wrote an amazing book about a couple of years ago which was called The Futures and this was a book about young people moving to New York and sort of trying to build their life in New York it's, it's a couple and then things start to happen and the dynamics of the relationship change and basically slowly but surely the relationship is coming to an end and Anna wrote it in a superb way like um, beautiful heartbreaking luminous um, and I loved it so when I found out that she um, wrote a new book and ordered it and um, there was also a bit of a hype surrounding, surrounding the release, so um, it was called a thriller. I don't call it a thriller, I call it just a sort of smart beach, smart beaches way up. Uh, so this is a book about necessary people, about what you need to do and who you need to uh, be friends with if you want to succeed in life. Um, this is actually quite a scary book because this is all true, unfortunately, in nowadays world. So, uh, fairly often uh, people are friends just because they want something from their friends. And if you want an unconditional love, get a dog. Um, super book, there is no love story. Um, actually, I thought in the beginning that maybe there would be a love story between these two women. It's a very quick read because you won't be able to put it down. And the characters, actually both girls that are involved with each other, um, that are trying to get on top, that are friends, frenemies, um, almost lovers in a slightly weird way. Um, anyway, read it. Um, second book that I wanted to talk about was really a book about Stranger Than Strange, a female character in fiction. Uh, this book is, I read an advanced copy of it on Kindle, so I don't really have a hardback, although I'm thinking I need to get a hardback because I want to give this book to one of my friends. Uh, this is Animals Eat Each Other. First, let's pause here because what a great title for a book. It's Elle Nash, an American writer and um, yeah this is a book about sort of uh, growing up, coming of age in a redneck America and if you really want to see what it is to live in a sort of lower class America and as a girl um, I guess you should treat animals eat each other. The funny thing is, I do not think that Al Nash uh, wanted to write about that specific sort of social aspect um, of our lives or of America. Sorry, like, come on, guys. 
she portrayed a young girl coming of age in America and looking for herself and trying to find love because ultimately, which I agree with, um, love is sort of the, the thing that we seek uh, unless you're a psychopath. Um, and she um, also, and by pure coincidence perhaps, she also wrote a book about this lower class America and um, I followed El Nash on Instagram and I also saw that she is reading quite a lot of books that kind of resonated with me and I bought this book uh, very recently in American Book Center in Amsterdam. Usually uh, the books that I buy solely judging by the covers and actually I have a tag on Instagram which is called Oliko judges a book by its cover. I have never been disappointed with what's inside yet when I buy a book simply because I love the cover. Anyway, so Elle Nash, author of Animals Eat Each Other, was talking about this book on her Instagram page and um, that prompted me to read it immediately. And it's an amazing book, guys. A young, smart, pretty girl who is fighting her demons um, and her demons are her mental health problems. Uh, there is a lot of drugs, there is some sex, maybe a drop of rock and roll, but you know what? There is an ocean of sarcasm and humor in this book. And that's why I absolutely loved it. It's, it's crazy because the book is so heartbreaking and yet so funny at the same time. This book reminded me of a classic, I have never promised you a rose garden. I've never promised you a rose garden, it's a book about um, a girl, a 15, 16 year old girl in a mental health institution in America in the 60s. It's super sad but very, very interesting and engaging to read. Juliet writes, and I understand this is a book about her personal experience, is just um, heartbreaking and healing at the same time and I can, I recommend this book a lot. So these are the ladies who I want to talk about. Um, so you pick a book guys and let me know what you think down below or connect with me on Instagram. I talk a lot about books on Instagram and I also post nice pictures of the books on Instagram and thank you guys for following me here. I was very pleasantly surprised when I logged into my YouTube account um, a couple of days ago and I saw that I actually have followers here so thank you from the bottom of my heart. So subscribe, follow, give this video a thumbs up and uh, see you very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye!